Hi everyone, this is Fisher Coder here. Today we're going through lead code problem 1134, Armstrong problem. Okay, before we dive in, please do me a favor and gently hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is dedicated to provide high quality lead code tutorials to help everybody or fellow lead coders to brush up on data structures and algorithms to better prepare for coding interviews. With that said, let's start diving into this problem. The problem is described as the k-digit number n is an Armstrong number if and only if the kth power of each digit sums up to n. So it's asking us to return true if and only if the given input, the given input integer is an Armstrong number. Let's walk through two examples as shown here. One example is 153, that's the input, the output is true. Why? Based on the problem description, this is a three-digit number, so the power is going to be three, and we sum all of the power of each digit up, which is one times one times one plus five, five to the power of three, which is 125, and then three to the power of three, which is 27. That is one plus 125 plus 20. 7, which is 153, which is exactly this number, the input number. So this input number is an Armstrong number, so we return true here. The second example is 1, 2, 3, which is output is false. Why? Because it's not Armstrong number. It's, this is also a, also a three-digit number. However, it's 1 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 3, and plus 3 to the power of 3 equals to 36 instead of its original input number, which is 123. In this case, we're just going to return false. Very easy and straightforward number, right? Um, straightforward question. So basically two steps. First, we need to get the total number of digits in this given number. That's it, which is going to be the number of power. And then we'll get each and every single digit of this input number and then do the power of this number and sum up all of the numbers and then check. All right, with that said, let's start diving into the code. Um, first, first step, we need to get the total uh, number of digits in this given input. There are multiple ways to get this. Um, one easy way is just a, a more practice to let us practice um, integer, um, integer operation. We'll just uh, do a while loop. And let's make a copy of this n because in the end we need to keep this n unmodified so that we can verify whether the sum of all of the power to the digits will equal to the original input. That's why we need to keep a copy of this n input to keep it to keep it untouched. While copy n is greater than zero, uh, a number of digits. Copy this guy. Um, plus plus, and then copy n is going to be do an integer divisor and by ten. While it's still, while copy n is still greater than zero, we'll just continue doing this. When copy n becomes zero, that means we reach the end of the most. Um, the, the very last digit of this number, then we know the total number of digits of this given input. Then we have another uh, variable called sum. At this moment, copy n equals to zero, so we need to make another copy. Do the same thing. Now we're at step two to calculate the power of each digit. Uh, while copy n is still greater than zero, what we we'll do is sum. Remember, there's um, what we're asked to do is to calculate the sum of power of each digits, right? So at this moment, we'll get the digit first. This digit is going to be copy n mod modulo 10. Remember, we did this operation many times in order to get the each and every single digit of a number. We we'll use modulo 10, right? And then here we we'll just use use digit and. Here is going to be number of digits is going to be the power. And then we'll also what we'll do is copy n is continue 
to do integer divisor by 10. In the end, when it breaks out of this for loop, that means we reach the end again. Exactly the same break condition as the previous for loop, as, as the previous while loop. So here we're just going to return where the sum equals to n, right? At this moment, copy n is, it becomes zero again. So we need to compare the sum with the original input, which is n, to check whether these two numbers equal. If they are, that means we meet the definition of Armstrong number, we're just going to return true, otherwise we'll return false. That's basically the algorithm. Let's submit and see whether we can get it accepted. Okay, it's accepted. 100 both uh, runtime, uh, both space and time complexity is 100%. Um, cool, that's great. And also, I just mentioned there is another way to do. Uh, there is another way to get the number, get the number, get the length of, get the number of digits in this given input. It's trivial, but I'd like just to show you guys how we can do that in multiple ways. So let's reset this one. Um, another way is basically, this is uh, language specific, language dependent, but I believe in Python or in C++ or in C, there are different ways to do it, even in JavaScript. Um, so we're just going to use a string, um, string length. So in Java, we can do this actually, string value of n. In this case, we don't need the first for loop. We're just going to use the built-in Java string API, which is len string and left. And then the rest is going to be the same. We can just quickly code it up again. Copy n equals n while copy n greater than zero. Uh, what we'll do is digit, we'll get the digit copy n, modulate 10, and then we'll have another variable called sum equals 0, sum, math. The second part is exactly the same as the previous algorithm, which is going to be digit, and then, then we'll have copy n, uh, do integer division by 10, and then we'll just return sum equals to n. This is exactly, the second part is exactly the same as the previous algorithm. Okay, also accepted. Uh, the same time complexity and uh, space complexity. We didn't use anything else. Uh, that's basically the two algorithms for solving this problem. A very straightforward and uh, easy problem. I hope you guys like this video. Again, please do me a favor and hit the like button of this video. It's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm to help spread this um, video to more fellow CS coders, lead coders. Um, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe uh, button to our channel. That would be really, really helpful. Um, again, please leave me any comments, feedback, questions. If you have down in the description below, I would really, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.